Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to replace spark plugs on this 2007 Honda Civic. But if you have 2006 to 2011 Honda Civic, procedure is similar, okay? Make sure you verify your parts, part number with your local parts department. But this is 2007, four door, and it's a four cylinder. There's a part number, this is what I'm using. NGK plugs, okay, I like to use laser iridium, but those are the ones I could not find, but these are pretty good. But anyways, we got new plugs. We're gonna put in the spark plugs, and I'm gonna give you a torque spec on this particular vehicle, and I believe they all run the same. If you need to check it out, you can send me a message, send me a year, make a model, and I'll get back to you. So let's get this thing going. Also, I'm gonna explain to you, if you have multiple misfires, cylinder one, two, three, four, P0301, P0302, P0303, P0304, those could be a many cylinder misfire, but I'm gonna explain to you exactly what you need to do, okay? Sometimes you do need to put ignition coil, so replace your spark plug and ignition coil on that particular cylinder. So let's get this job going, okay? All right, guys, so let me explain to you. Okay, this is your engine, okay? If you have a code P0301, you're looking at this. P0302, you're looking at cylinder number two. So this is number one, this is number two, three, and four. They just go in that order. P0303, P0304. So let's say, for example, if you have cylinder number uh, three misfired, that would be this particular one, okay? P0303. So what you would do is, one thing you could do is you could take this coil and swap it, okay? And then you can play around with the plugs. You can pull out, disconnect the connector, and see if that cylinder has changed the misfire from there to here, okay? If you disconnect this one now, okay, originally, let's say you swapped the coil and you took it from here to there, and then let's say you disconnect this connector now, and you feel no vibration into the engine, that means this cylinder is good now, the coil is good, and this one, if you try to do disconnect this one and nothing happens, that means uh, pretty much your uh, coil is bad. But make sure you check if there's any oil on the ignition coil or on the plug. If that's the case, um, that could be also a cause that you have a misfire. But in this particular video, we're going to change the spark plugs. And I gave you a simple uh, uh, theory of uh, which cylinder is misfiring and what would you do. Okay, so let me go get some tools. All we're going to need is uh, number 10 to remove these bolts. And... Uh, we're gonna disconnect all the connectors, okay? So pretty much, we can disconnect all these connectors. I got these two out. Sometimes they don't come off that easy. Then you need to use a pick, okay? Okay, my friend. So I went and got me some tools. I got me this ratchet here with the extension and number 10 socket there. All right, we do need a uh, spark plug socket. I'm gonna get to that next. And I got me this little pick. So sometimes these connectors won't lift up even though you push it, nothing will lift up. And you can just lift up. Pretty much I'm lifting up the inside of this just by doing that from the back end. And I don't need to push the connector. This does the job for me. Okay, so we got that. Next step, we're going to loosen up our four bolts. Very simple. Got great videos coming ahead for you guys, all right? So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. I mean, I'm always here to help you guys. And if you ever need help with anything, um, you send me a message. It could be anything besides this video, okay? So we took off four bolts, I mean four nuts. Put them away, okay? Put them to the side, put them to the floor if you like because we don't want nothing dropping inside this, okay? So what I like to do is I like to remove the ignition coil, inspect them, no oil, good. Always keep them in order. If you forget the order, it's all right, because they're all the same. Let's put this somewhere here. We're gonna take this one, put it here. We're gonna take this one, and I'm gonna put it to somewhere to the side here. So none of them have any oil, okay? So we're gonna remove the plugs. Let me go get a spark plug socket. All right, got me this uh, 3 8 of a, uh, 5 8 of a socket for spark plugs. That's what you're gonna need, all right? And we're gonna loosen up all the spark plugs. And I am going to give you a torque spec on these. We are going to torque these, all right? That comes out. And that comes out. So they all lose. Once they're loose, take off your extension of the ratchet. And you can start turning all of these by hand. One. Make sure they lose all the way. Two.
three. And four. So they're all just sitting inside. I can see them, they're tilted, they have fallen to the side. So you can take them all out or what you want to do is uh, you want to grab your new spark plug. Here's our new spark plug. It's pre-gap. All right, they do come with this little cover in the package. That's to protect it. But always look at it. There should be a gap there. All right, so what we're going to do next is I am going to go along. Make sure you have a magnet here. Okay, something similar to that. All right, so make sure nothing is, no dirt debris there because you don't want nothing falling in there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull out one plug. And there's your Denso spark plug coming out of there. All right, they don't look so bad, but the customer requested. Always check the length of these spark plugs because you do not want it. Put a longer spark plug and destroy the engine. So there goes one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to remove them all, but let me pull them all out of the package first. So they do come in a package like that. And each one is going to be protected by that. They're pre-gapped, but always check your gapping anyway. You don't have to check them, just look at which really they should be open. The gap should not be closed. And here's the fourth one, okay? So let's just continue. The reason why I'm doing this is um, because uh, as you pull along, you put a new plug in because nothing is gonna fall inside, okay? So that's our old plug falling on the ground. Here's another one, new spark plugs. Okay, if you want to get these Denzos SKJ20DR-M11S Radium, okay? And, and notice that I'm, how I'm putting the plugs in, okay? Always match up. All I'm doing is slowly just letting it slide in there. You don't want to just throw it in there, okay? So I got all four of my plugs in there. Next, we're going to grab the threads on all of these, okay? Just grab as much as you can and then we're going to go get our torque wrench. And we're gonna torque these bad boys. And there is a spec that you need to torque these to, and I'm gonna give you that when we start to torque these. All right, so make sure you catch threads on all of them. And this is the last one. All right guys, so let me go get my torque wrench and we're gonna torque all of these. Okay, so bear with me here. I have my torque wrench here set to 18 foot pounds. It's gonna be hard for the camera to see. So it's between 10 and 20. 18 foot pound, it's ready to go. And you always wanna grab it from all the way. I'm grabbing this, uh, let me get it out of there. So I'm grabbing this from all the way and then you always wanna grab it there, okay? And here goes nothing. There you go, 18 foot pound, applied to that sprock plug. Let's go on the next one. Eighteen foot pound. Eighteen foot pound and the last one. Okay, you can always double check them. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. All right guys, one thing I wanna tell you is, when you put the ignition coils back in, make sure this connector clicks, okay? Where's my next ignition coil? Connector has to click okay if it did not click it's not all the way in sometimes they won't click but just pay attention to the locking mechanism on it that one didn't click but I know it's in there okay let's click all right so one two three four all four in and the little bolts that go on the top 
Okay, these, if you want to tighten these, you're looking at like six to seven foot pound, but I usually hand tighten them. It's not a big deal. Okay, and uh, other than that, if you have a cylinder misfire, one, cylinder number two, cylinder number three, cylinder number four. And that's the order. Okay, so let me finish out this job. And we're all done. And I want to respect you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message about any type of repair. I do have AC compressor video filters, brakes on this particular vehicle. And uh, that's it. Start up your car, everything should be good. As long as everything is perfect and you follow my step and you have the correct pieces. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up.